things haven't always been perfect. Things aren't perfect. I've been seriously trying to pursue a career in film and photography for about four years now. What am I doing wrong? Wait, 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 wait. Stop. This video was just about to turn into another compilation video, but I didn't like where it was going, so let's change it. So, I'm in Indianapolis. I have been really stuck on trying to make these videos different than just a vlog. I want to give them some narrative. All these clips are just random clips that I'm shooting while I'm traveling, but how can I put these together to follow some sort of narrative without prepping things ahead of time? I'm so glad that I'm in the beginning of the series, but I have still made every video so different, so I'm not stuck in making like one type of video. I have given myself the freedom to make whatever kind of video I want, whether that be a vlog or a sit down talking video or I don't know, something with narrative. But I wanna make these more of a story with more meaning behind it rather than me just saying, hey look, here's what I did. So let's try it. I was recently with a good friend that I haven't really hung out with in over a year. She was just telling me how proud she is of me for being able to travel while doing film and photography because even though we haven't hung out in forever, she remembers me always, always talking about how all I want to do is travel while doing what I love. As of when I wrote this script, I was sitting down outside of a conference full of entrepreneurs talking about how you can never give up on your dreams. If you isolate yourself from others, you are so much less likely to accomplish your goals and your dreams because you kind of get stuck in your head you can easily lose sense of reality and or be more inclined to give up when things get tough because you don't have a support system backing you up. And that made so much sense to me when I heard it. I have definitely fallen victim to that many times because I would isolate myself. And while I was isolated, yes, I was working hard, but I think in the wrong ways. I would just get so caught up on these little tasks, like this needs to get done and this needs to get done, but I would lose sense of the bigger picture and what I was really trying to do. Being here and listening to these people talking, as well as hearing my friend tell me how proud she was of me, made me really want to tell people more and more to not give up on your dreams. Don't give up on your dreams. Follow your dreams your dreams, you right there, follow them. I know so many people that had big dreams but decided to give up on them, to follow the route that pleased their parents or the route that everyone else took. But you don't need to take that route. And once you make the conscious decision to do that, it's so hard to go back and to start following your dreams again. It's not impossible, but it's way more difficult. I say, give it your all. Throw everything you got into making your dreams a reality. Don't hold back. Now what giving it your all looks like to everybody is pretty different depending on your dreams and who you are as a person, but I encourage you to try and try to figure out what that is that you need to do and to do it. You can do it. Trust me. I am nowhere near where I need to be yet and I'm not making enough money to financially support myself on my own yet. But boy, am I loving the ride and have such a thirst for life and dreaming big. Hey guys, different Tori here. Um, I have some more to add to that. I have more that I was gonna say, but I got too anxious filming in such a public area, so I cut my dialogue short, and then I was trying to find a parking garage to film even more on, and um, I ran out of time by the time that I climbed to the top of a parking garage and realized that the view was not good. <laughs> so I went back down. Anyways, I wanted to reiterate what I meant when I said 
what giving it your all looks like to everybody is pretty different. Everyone is in different circumstances. I've been blessed to be allowed to stay living at home as long as I'm not a freeloader. <laughs> And as of recent circumstances, I kind of need to stay home to be able to help out with everything. But being allowed to stay home has definitely helped me in a lot of different ways. And I realize that a lot of people don't have that reality. But that doesn't mean it makes following your dreams impossible. So many people have gone from having absolutely nothing to them being so successful in what they want to do. You will fail, yes, plenty of times, but you can't give up, you have to keep trying. And that's just the main point that I wanted to get across here is just follow your dreams, keep going, keep trying, I believe in you, you can do it, you're fantastic, you're smart, you're talented, do it, do it, do it, okay? I mean it. So that's that's all. Uh, like and subscribe if you like the video. I have plenty more episodes coming. And yeah, I'll see y'all later. <laughs> that was that was so. I'm sitting here through all of this, being like, okay. <laughs> you? Everything pointed to being the right place too. Today has felt like two days. <laughs> Started work at 6 a.m. Ended work at 10.30 p.m. Just got back from the bar. <sighs> Gotta wake up in like six hours. Good night. Cheers!